forensic science, we have class characteristics and individual characteristics, and fingerprints are a perfect example. When we're talking about class characteristics, what that does is put you in a group. And as you can see, we have a fingerprint, and this is a loop pattern. We have a whirl pattern, and we have an arch pattern. Those are our class characteristics because we all have those fingerprint patterns. And you can see 60% of the population has loops, 35% of the population has whirls, and only 5% of the population have arches. So everybody has those, you're just put into a specific group. Now we're talking about individual characteristics. We're looking at more of the level two and level three detail, which your level two detail is gonna be your minutia. Different minutia are ridge endings, bifurcations, short ridges, and enclosures. And when you start to look into the fingerprint pattern at the individual minutia, you can start to see differences. That's what puts you uh, into a individual characteristic. Can you determine or eliminate an individual or can you compare them and determine they are from the same source? If you're looking at these two, you can start to compare the minutia and determine that those are actually two different individuals uh, that made these fingerprint impressions.